hello dear students let us discuss second example of dendrogram in this lecture please refer to lecture number 1 for the first example and the details of performance of wet lab practical and uh, the concepts of dendrogram so as we have discussed in the first lecture that the first step to make uh, a dendrogram is that you make a replica of dendrogram in a diagrammatic representation manner for example here this is a gel showing bands replica of gel showing bands in four cultivars a b c d and the second step is that you will make a binary matrix of the bands which are present on the gel so what is binary matrix where you mark the presence of band with number 1 and the absence of band with number 0 for example in matrix 1 which is binary matrix you can see that in cultivar a first band is present so we have marked it with 1 and second band is missing so we have marked with 0 third band is present so we have marked with 1 fourth and fifth is present so we have marked with 1 sixth is missing so it is marked with 0 and seventh and eighth are present so they are marked with 1 and 1 similarly b you can see the first band is present so marked with 1 second and third are missing so they are marked with 0 and then fourth fifth sixth seventh are present so they are marked with 1 and eighth is missing so they are it is marked with 0 similarly c and d you can see that the first band is mixed missing so it, they are marked with zero and the other bands like c in c first second band is present so it is marked with one and in d it is absent so it is marked with zero in third both the bands are missing so uh, they are marked with zero and then fourth fifth are present so they are marked with one then you see sixth band so sixth band in c it is present so it is marked with 1 and d it is absent so it is marked with 0 then seventh band it is present in both cultivars so they are marked with 1 eighth it is marked with 0 so this is the first step that you make a replica of the gel and you make a binary matrix after making the binary matrix we calculate the similarity coefficient between cultivars using jacquard similarity coefficient and the formula for that is uh, common bands between two species say for example x and y so common bands between two species x and y divided by bands which are exclusive to x plus common bands plus bands which are exclusive to y so say for example we calculate similarity coefficient between cultivars a and b so you can see here that in cultivar a when you see a and b how many bands are there which are present in both so you can see that in both first band uh, if you count number 1 in both so this is first second third and fourth so there are four bands which are present in both so the numerator will be 4 because it is common to both and x and y now the band which is exclusive to 1 so if you see the band which is exclusive to uh, 2a cultivar is uh, there are two bands so how to calculate them uh, you see that the last band it is present only in a while it is absent in b because in b you can see it is 0 and similarly the third band you can see that it is present only in a and it is absent in b so it, these two bands the third band and the last band are exclusive to a so this will be two common bands we have already calculated four and now we will calculate the number of bands which are uh, exclusive to b so here you can see that uh, the third last band zero we can see that it is absent in a while it is present in b so there is only one band which is exclusive to b cultivar so this becomes 4 by 7 similarly you calculate similarity coefficient between a and c by seeing the number of counting the number of bands which are common 
exclusive to A and exclusive to B. So this is how we get these values and then based on these values we make matrix 2. So matrix in matrix 2 you put uh, the name of cultivars on both the horizontal side and the vertical side and then you uh, after calculation in the similarity index you put the values. So like here we can see that in matrix 2 the highest similarity coefficient is between C and D which is 0 0.75. It means that uh, fr from uh, matrix 2 we have concluded that uh, the highest similarity coefficient is between C and D. So C and D becomes one cluster now and now we will find out the similarity index of C and D with other cultivars. So here we will put C and D, we will take C and D as one cluster and we will find out the similarity index with other cultivars which are other than C and D. So they are A and B and in the same manner we will calculate the similarity index. For example, when we calculate similarity index between C and D and A, so this will be uh, CD plus DA upon 2 because it will be mean of 2. So this become, comes to be 0.35 similarly between C and D, D CD and D it comes to be 0.63. So now from this we come to know that um, uh, the highest similarity coefficient is between C, C uh, the highest similarity coefficient with of C and D is with B. So C, D, B uh, is more has more similarity index than A. So from this mass matrix 3 we have concluded that C and D has similarity index with B as 0.63. So we will take it as cluster now and we will calculate the similarity index with A. So C the uh, similarity coefficient between C, D, B and A will be now uh, arithmetic mean of 3 because C, A plus D, A plus B is A upon 3 and this is how we calculate and we get the value 0.48 so this is how they are related so A is um, similar at 0.48 with C, D, B so from the matrices we have concluded that the similarity coefficient between C and D is 0 0.75 which then C, D and B is 0 0.63 and C, D, B and A is 0 0.48. So this is how they are represented in dendrogram like this. So uh, we A, C and D they are, they are uh, 0 0.75 or that is 75% similar then C, D is uh, has similarity coefficient with A at 0.63 uh, so we have put 0.63 at the node here and A is 0.48 so this is how they are represented on the graph and this is how we calculate the dendrogram uh, calculations manually and, and make the dendrogram like this so this is a simple uh, example of dendrogram preparation using calculations by uh, Jacquard's coefficient and I hope you have understood it. So thank you students.